Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer, the owner of ExploringLasVegas.com. I'm standing here today in front of the Venetian. Actually, behind me is the Mirage, but I'm, I'm just in front of the Venetian. They won't let me shoot with the Venetian in my background because of uh, some rules and whatnot. But anyway, I'm out here in front of the Venetian, and the, the Venetian houses the new Tau Beach Club. And uh, the reason I'm out here shooting in front of the Venetian because I want to talk to you guys about Tau Beach, the different bottle service options, and uh, what's going on with the place. And just so you guys get a nice introduction to what I consider the number one uh, option for pool parties in Las Vegas in 2022. Uh, Tau Beach is operated by the Tau Group, which this year bought the Hakkasan Group. So now they have access to all the DJs that the Hakkasan Group had and their own DJs, okay? So one of the things that makes this pool party uh, unique is the, the DJ lineup they have. They're gonna have Alesso, Martin Garrix, Steve Aoki, Alinium, Party Favor, Loud Luxury, Fisher, um, DJ Mustard, Tyga, really good lineup of DJs okay the way it's going to be set up um, is uh, Friday or Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday they're going to be open so four nights a week or four days a week if you will and Thursday's probably going to be more like an open format party Fridays are going to start bringing in some of their mid-level talent Saturdays will be the big DJs the big talent and Sundays is going to be a hip-hop party all right and just so you guys know Tau Beach uh, was open two years ago prior to the illness they closed it to do a remodel and then because of the illness they delayed the remodel, put more money into it, and made it bigger and better. Okay, so now Tile Beach did this massive redo, and it's gonna be beautiful, all right? I think it's gonna be the number one pool party in Vegas this year. I'm looking forward to working with them because I work directly for the Tile Group, and I have a link below if you guys wanna buy a table or get in, uh, get a ticket or whatnot. Um, we have that below. So just so you guys know, pretty much standard out here in Las Vegas, uh, the dress code, you gotta wear swim attire. They're not gonna let you in with any kind of like khaki shorts pants um, guys you got to wear um, swim shorts okay that's the only major major thing you got to do no jerseys no athletic gear um, you can get away with hats uh, by the pool parties because obviously the sun is ridiculously hot out here in Las Vegas but uh, you're gonna want to wear swim attire no uh, wife beaters uh, no athletic gear whatsoever just do not bring anything basketball no athletic shorts it's got to be swim shorts okay it's very important uh, security here I'm not sure how they're gonna do it by the pool but at most of the other pools um, they do check your pockets uh, they're gonna go through your wallet girls are gonna look in your purse so make sure you don't bring anything that's gonna get you in trouble because they're gonna check that the marijuana is legal in Las Vegas but it's not legal inside the casinos because they're still operating under federal licenses so make sure you don't bring anything like a vape or anything like that because they don't know what's inside they're gonna take it away all right so let's talk about the uh, the bottle service options here um, like I said this place was went under a massive redo I think they put multi multiple millions of dollars into it, it looks beautiful um, I will flash some you know sections and whatnot up while I'm talking so you guys can kind of see I haven't actually been inside of the venue because it hasn't opened yet, but I will be soon. I'll reshoot this video with some better, uh, you know, better videos of the actual sections so you can really see what you're buying. But um, let's talk about what you have as far as options go. Uh, probably the, the coolest cabanas, as far as I can tell, are going to be the Lotus cabanas, which are basically directly across from the DJ. There's four of them. And they look massive in the in the renderings. Uh, like I said, I haven't seen them yet, but they look really cool. Uh, they're pretty expensive, but uh, you're probably going to get a massive cabana, and you're going to have a nice clear view to the DJ from across the pool. Um, the next level down is going to be your jungle cabanas, and it's definitely not a downgrade because the jungle cabanas all have like a giant shared plunge pool. It looks like there's a row on the right uh, to the DJ for standing in the DJ with a row on the right. There's a row on the left, and then there's a row across from the DJs. Um, all of them have their own plunge pools. Those look like they're going to be some of the more desirable cabanas in all of Vegas. Um, and then you also have some um, cabanas behind the DJs. They're kind of called the stage uh, cabanas, if you will. And it looks like on most of the days they're blocking those out for like the DJ and his crew and probably like high VIPs and whatnot. So if you want one of those, uh, hit me up. I can special request and see if we can get you one of those. Uh, they also have terrace cabanas, uh, which are across. Um, if, you're look, if you're in the DJ booth and you look to your right, they're kind of across the pool by the big, they have a big Tao Buddha type statue. And the terrace cabanas are gonna be right over there by that. Um, they're going to be kind of like your entry level cabanas. They look a little bit smaller. They don't have their own pools. But if you want a cabana and the budget isn't there for the bigger ones uh, uh, with the pools and whatnot, those might be a nice option for you. All right, let's talk about the day beds, which is the next level. They have some day beds that are scattered around the smaller pool, and then they have some day beds scattered around the larger pool, which are going to be more like your prime day beds. So they have like a entry level day bed and then a prime day bed, uh, which is obviously a little more expensive, a little bit more in the action around the main pool. And then the lowest level tables are going to be like your terrace deck tables. Apparently, um, you know, like I said, I haven't been in there, but from what I can see, the terrace deck tables are kind of behind the day beds, in between the cabanas in most cases. And um, they're kind of more for like groups of like four to six. If you don't have a huge budget, but you want to get a table to kind of have your stuff for, for the day, have like a home base, uh, the terrace cabanas are going to be your spots. So, um, so that's a pretty much the layout as far as I could tell from Tile Beach. Again, I'm going to reshoot this video when I get in there, get some actual footage. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys a you know, video out there to kind of talk about how it's going to be set up 
and it, it does look like it's going to be the best pool party in Vegas. I'm really excited about it. Uh, the talent's there. They got the you know the, the promotions and the host team, uh, myself included in that uh, behind it. So there's going to be you know good high end customers, a lot of pretty girls, and um, you know it's at the uh, Venetian, which is a good hotel. It's a very high end hotel. It's just got a lot of things going for it. It's brand new in 2022. It's the only pool that opened up this year, so they don't have any other new pools they're competing with. There were several that opened up last year, but they're the only new ones this year. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, working with you at Tao Beach. So if you have any questions, hit me up. I got my number above, 773-459-8133. If you like this uh, video, make sure you like it. I would appreciate it. It does help it in the uh, YouTube algorithm. And um, if you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, bang that notification bell. Uh, I'm Brian Pfeiffer, um, and I'm looking forward to working with you at Tao Beach in 2022. Talk